Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit. I am going to give you a quick overview of what's currently happening with the YouTube channel. The reason being that we've changed the new YouTube layout, which is pretty much going to be standard across the board going forward for most channels, if not all, I feel, unless someone decides to really throw up a hissy fit about it. Now, the new YouTube layout has its problems, but it also does make navigating videos significantly easier for a wide variety of different things. This is good for me because I do a lot of series, and this means that you can actually skip the content you don't want and go directly to the content you do want. So let me demonstrate how it works for you, and hopefully you'll get a bit more of an understanding of what's supposed to be going on. So. There's three tabs at the top, Featured, Feed, and Videos. Featured, basically that's what I want to show you, yeah? The featured video for the day, whatever that might be, will be on the front page. So in this case, it's the Try and Two video there. Under that, there's going to be a bunch of featured playlists. Now, pretty much every series that I've done that I can't turn into an official YouTube show, I've put here. Now, usually this means that if it's on a, say, alternates channels, which is the case with this, and this one as well, and of course... Yost Gas, Total Biscuit Magica, things like that, Dead Rising with Jesse Cox, that stuff. I can't make that official YouTube show because you can only make something a show if all of the episodes are on your channel. These We share these episodes, so that can't happen. So what we've done here is we created a playlist for each one. So this should give you access to all of these videos really, really easy. So say you want to watch some Terraria with me and Jesse, click that. That's the entire list of all of the Terraria videos. Yes, we don't care about your plugin, go away. And you can scroll all the way to the bottom there, no problem at all. That goes right down to the latest stuff with the next world generation. And that, it doesn't matter what channel that's on. You can easily watch that. You can click play all to watch the whole lot from there. You can share the playlist. You can like and dislike the playlist, things like that gives you a lot of information it also tells me that Terra our terraria series has 16 hours of content there you go that's a lot of terraria right there if anyone wants to run a marathon of it you can also just then click that and that will bring up a playlist at the bottom and we'll start playing episode one so there you go and then you can skip through to episode four and you can even move things around things like that so it's nice and easy to use so that's for all of the series that I don't have a show for. The series I do have a show for, this is actually even easier for you guys because what we've been able to do here is to take the shows and put them in the sidebar. And that means you can access any of that content immediately. So say all you want to watch on my channel is WTF is. Don't have to worry about your subscription box or anything like that. Click that button. WTF is. That's the WTF is show. This is split into seasons, by the way, per, like, however many episodes. I can't remember how many we split them into. I think, yeah, it was 20 episodes per season. So you can scroll through that. You can see all the information about WTF is right there. And it, then you can just click whatever you want. So if you want some of the latest episodes, they're in season 10. Let's get back to season 9 for some of the older stuff. You want to go all the way back to season 2 for some of the really classic stuff. Bulletstorm, Trino, Swarm Marina, Greed, Core, loads of stuff. And... In fact, all the way back to season one, if we want to get really nostalgic and see what's available there. Oh yes, the first ever WTF is was in fact Ruse. And then we had Axel and Pixel, which I think was the one that really kicked us off. Because for some reason that one was really popular. I'm not really sure why that is, but there you go. All the really old classic stuff here. Not too shabby at all. What it also does give you to is access to some other some of the other stuff I've done here. Azeroth Daily, old classic episodes, Mailbox. Mailbox is one that people have asked for a lot in terms of show. We did make it a show, and that's easy access. So if we go back to the channel, the mailbox. That is all of the mailbox episodes. All dated. Really easy to find. No problems whatsoever. I'm aware that we are missing a few thumbnails here and there. We're trying to get that fixed. That's just something that our graphic designer needs to catch up on. We've been doing a lot of different additions to the channel, as you might imagine, because of all of these changes. So we've been really, really busy. Old Republic, that's also available on the sidebar right there because Old Republic is, there's going to be quite a lot of content for that. So you can see pretty much everything there. That's the old stuff back to Gamescom all the way through to the latest material there. Click on whatever you want. It's nicely labeled and easy to find that that is the latest episode there at the top. So we, we use YouTube shows quite prolifically i would think we do make a lot of youtube shows in preparation for stuff like guild wars 2 there's one for that for instance so when more new guild wars 2 content comes out we'll add that to the sidebar you can also access the starcraft 2 channel really easily there's a wide variety of ways to do that that's one of them in the featured channels down at the bottom 
This is kind of annoying actually because this used to be the sub box and we used to have, I think we could have up to 18 people in it. Now this rotates on a monthly basis depending on what the game station tells us to put there because obviously it's a cross promotional network so you're not going to see everyone in there all the time. But that's my StarCraft 2 channel right there. Game station link as well as whatever I've been asked to put in there this month. Unfortunately it's a lot less than what's used to be there so some of you guys may have been in this for instance i had athene in there i had chilla thriller in there i can't fit them in there anymore so i'm gonna have to figure out a way of properly rotating that but if you want to get the starcraft 2 channel that's one way to do it the other way to do it is of course to click that link right there that'll bring it bring it up in a separate tab and same business of getting back here as well it's really really easy click there to go to the gaming channel or that one or we've even put a link up to the top if you're looking for Total Halibut, because some people got confused. They thought that this was my main channel. It's not. It should be very clearly labeled right now that it is not my main channel, and that should take you back to Total Halibut, no problem whatsoever. Aside from that, other links, cynicalbrit.com website. We haven't really done a lot with that lately. We do have some plans to make it relevant again, possibly with some podcast content for you guys. So that's something that we're trying to come up with, and we're working on that over the next couple of months. Link to the Cynical Brit shop. That's over at District Lines. We do have a lot more stuff coming in here. We've also got a partnership with Jinx, which means that we're hosting some of their stuff as well. You can buy that directly through our shop on the same order. So that's quite convenient. And that's the stuff that we currently have available. We've got a lot more designs coming in as well as a lot more different kinds of things available from the shop. We're also working on an EU distributor, by the way, because I know this is terrible for Europe. It really, really is because you, you have to pay ridiculous shipping costs and custom fees. We're getting a European supplier for this stuff. So that should be sorted out for you guys. I know that's been very much requested. Link to the Twitter feed as well as the Cynical Brit Facebook. That's the official Cynical Brit Facebook. It's not my personal Facebook. I actually don't use my personal Facebook, but this is a really good place to look for information. All of the latest videos and any live streams and stuff we're doing will always be posted here all the time. So this is one really easy way to keep in touch with other Cynical Brit fans as well as to gain access to the latest material. Live stream right there, we use that mostly for Showcraft streams on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That's StarCraft 2 material. Every now and again, I'll do some different stuff, but that will, of course, be announced. Now, in terms of announcements, something else you might want to look at here, the feed. This is everything that we do yeah, in one feed. So this is going to probably contain some information you don't need. Like, for instance, adding this to a playlist. You don't need to know that I added this to a playlist. This is kind of pointless. There might be a way that we can change around that. Let's have a look at it now. It actually doesn't let us do anything whatsoever. So if we can filter out the crap that is useless, like added to playlist, we will. But this will also tell you latest uploads, bulletins. This is really important. I don't know why this isn't, this isn't actually on the front page now, is it? I'm pretty sure it's not. That's really irritating. That's something I wanted to be on the front page because the bulletin system was a good way of keeping you guys up to date on the latest stuff. Like, for instance, this, the whole thing about the Stop Online Piracy Act. Unfortunately, I believe the de debate has ended now. He is hoping that it does not pass because that's going to cause a whole bunch of problems for a lot of people. But yeah, if you want to check out everything that's happening, the feed is a good way to put it, but you're going to get a lot of unnecessary information. If there's anything we can do to clean that up, we will do that over the next couple of days. But it also shows you the videos that I've liked as well as favorited. You should also get those in your sub box and things like that as well, I believe, on the front page. And then there's this page right here, which is just, this is just raw videos. Uh, you can go to this, you can see all of my uploads in a grid. So that's another way of doing it, as opposed to on the featured page where you can just go to the uploaded videos playlist, you click that, and that actually gives you a list. So it depends if you prefer list or grid. These are, they both work. This is an automatic playlist, this is uploaded video, so all of the latest stuff will be added to it. So as you can see, the new YouTube layout, while it does have some problems with it, actually lets you access videos really rapidly. You can find the videos that you're looking for on my channel quite easily without too much of a problem. There is still some archive footage that is perhaps a little bit harder to find, like say the Cataclysm stuff or my old Shining Force 3 Let's Play I did a couple of years back. There are playlists available for that, but I'm not featuring them on the front page because they're not really relevant new content. So you can still find them. If you look for Cataclysm, you should very easily find my playlists there. And of course, you can use this box up to the top to search the channel and everything will be all wonderful and fantastic for you right there. There you go. That is an overview of the channel, folks. That is how it currently works. That is how to currently use it. And hopefully that has 
gotten rid of some of the confusion that you might feel after seeing the new channel layout. This is going to be most likely mandatory for all channels over the next couple of weeks. They're giving you a bit of a transition period to change things around, but you're going to be seeing a lot more of this in the future. Okay, folks, that is me done for this particular informative video. Hopefully you're less confused now, and I will see you next time.